what we learned so far were m logic sorry m print and m logic now the third option which we are left with is symbol gene so we will see about symbol gene today so by now you must have understood that all of these options help us to debug the macros how do how does it help us in debugging the macro if you if you focus on the uses of all of these uh, options you would notice that mostly though they are uh, producing the results of macro variables in different way but majorly they all are telling you what macro variable results to what right so if you compare all of these three they all are doing the same kind of job but they include some more functionalities today we will learn symbol gene and we will see how does it work so let's go ahead and try to understand welcome to the channel to understand the concept very clearly please watch the video till the end once you are done with watching the video do not forget to like comment subscribe and hit the bell icon so the option which we're going to learn today is symbol gene let's have a look at its definition it says it displays the results of resolving macro variable references this option is useful for debugging what does that mean meaning if you have if you have one option or oh sorry one name like type and this is a macro variable then symbol gene will tell you what does this resolves to for example suv all right so this is what symbol gene does now if you, if you can recall it you would say that m print also does the same thing so let's have a look at its definition if you can recall the definition for m print it also says m print translates the macro language to regular ses language and here the symbol gene is also doing the same thing this is the macro word macro variable and it uh, this symbol gene is translating it to the regular sas argument or maybe input whatever it is so what's the difference so let's see the uses of both of these two options in a comparative way so first we're going to try symbol gene so here we have some piece of code where we just want to find the frequency of types frequency of types all right sorry frequency frequency of origin i mean in what origin this particular variable has how many frequencies i mean how many numbers or uh, something like that right so our, our main goal is to find out what does symbol gene will do in this context so if you run this macro the uh, let me tell you what will be the result so if you run this macro this will use the data from sas help.cars and here in the var you are providing this origin variable so cars table has a variable called origin all right and then it is also providing a condition which is type means it says keep the frequency specific for the suv type all right so this kind of things it will produce this kind of report uh, this will produce let me take you to the sas station and show you an example of it so here we just run it and see the output this kind of output you will get when you run this statement but now the output is not our goal the goal is to understand the uses of symbol gene all right so let's have a look at the log so when you run this code with the option symbol gene you will get this kind of code so this kind of log so if you notice here it says symbol gene and symbol gene first it says macro variable var resolves to origin and then macro variable type resolves to suv so we had two macro variables one is type the other one is var so these two have been resolved to what this symbol gene option helps you to find out now let's try the same program with m print here if you see 
it's the same program but the option which we supplied over here is m print now let's have a look at the logs so if you see over here it prints everything about the program means m print check frequency and this is it first type uh, printing the first line of this program all right and then if you see it is printing the second line and then the third line and then the fourth line so the difference is in symbolgen symbolgen produces symbolgen only tells what macro variable resolves to what while m print prints the entire program which you have used in macro in the regular sas language if you see the, it has printed all of the program including the value which you passed to the macro variable all right so this is the difference between m print and symbol gene whatever value you pass to the macro variables m print prints uh, prints the uh, submitted arguments or sub submitted uh, codes with the value which you have passed in the macro variable while symbol gene will print only the value and the macro variable which is resolved so this is what the difference between symbol gene and m print all right now there is one more thing which i would like you to note is when you use a macro variable over in your thing you always need to use the double quotes single quote will not work let's go and try to use this here here we are saying uh, use the sas help dot cards table and print the frequency based on the variable which we supply over here but keep the condition keep the frequency specific to the type which we supply over here all right so because we are uh, saying sas to uh, check out this value so it's a value right it's a value so whatever value you provide over here that must be because it's a character variable so that must be in a quote but if you put single quote this will throw this will not work as you expect all right it didn't printed anything so for that you should always keep in mind that if you are putting any macro variable for the comparison if you are using any macro variable as the value then you should always use that with double quotes all right be it if you are assigning a library if you are using a macro, uh, macro variable in library over there also you need to uh, put that entire library location in double quotation now if you run this this will work if you can see here we have the result and here we have the log so this is what i wanted to explain you in this video and the main thing was to tell you the difference between m print and symbol gene which i hope i explained and you understand it well in case of any doubt please do not forget to put your doubt in the comment section i will definitely try to help you out and we will definitely get back to you thank you very much for watching the video wish you very good luck